What's up guys, Axon here. Just wanted to run through my brand new sample pack that just dropped on Unison Audio called Droid Bass Sounds. And today I'm just going to deconstruct the demo project so then you guys can see how I incorporated all the sounds from the, the pack into this project to create all those different uh, variations and examples. So the reason why I made this pack first off is because it's based off of my Droid Bass EP that came out on Circus Records a few months ago and was supported by a lot of international artists and I wanted to make sure that that same sound that I incorporated into the EP as well as all my future tracks were available for everybody to use, so all the sounds and the samples. So then basically, so then the droid bass sound could grow itself. So I really want this thing to take off. So um, this entire pack has everything that I ever use. Um, I've even got stuff like Foley samples. I've got all the effects, drums, basses, growls, um, long basses, um, even my orchestral elements because all of my stuff is based off of stuff like um, Transformers, uh, Blade Runner, Ghost in the Shell, Evangelion. So I had to incorporate all the uh, orchestral elements. So I first start off just by explaining I've got the Foley samples at the very beginning of the track. That is literally just me scratching balloons and throwing rocks and recording them as Foley samples. And then I've retextured and rewarped them. So I've put the raw loops or all different kinds of stuff like that that I found around my house. I've recorded that. Put that into the sample packs then you guys can play with those and resample them to make them sound more glitchy so examples here i've got um, the same sounds that are in the pack and i've just merged them together and rewarped them so they give me all these different kinds of uh, variations and then when you put them together like that um, laid out really gives this um this gelled kind of intro that I, I do this in all of my tracks you may notice I have this really elaborate intro that has all these small elements that are going on that are it sounds almost as if a robot is coming to life and I do that every track just to make sure that um, I create that initial theme to the track so I, I, I think that's a really important element when you want to tell a story is to have all these small little details that people can notice that are happening throughout all of your tracks that kind of make it coexist as this entire story right and then on top of that, as I was saying before, I include all of my orchestral elements. So we got a brass sustained loop here that are from the construction kits. So I had that in here first, and then I brought um, the string one shot and the guitar one shot pluck, and I put them into MIDI and bounced them down into audio. So here they are now. So that's, um, playing alongside with the loop. So I've wrote that around the loop basically because these weren't um, in the pack as loops themselves. Calling all robot. The vocals are all my own voice. I've just recorded them with this really basic mic and I've just added a lot of reverb on them. So I'll play them dry. Calling all robots. Calling all robots. So the reverb is just coming from the Clark vocals here. And I've also got an endless smile on the master that's being automated between all the transitions that is, is giving it a sense of gelling between all the elements that are coming into this track. So um, I, it's a lot easier if you just do it that way when you've got um, raw samples, because then you don't have to worry about um, doing it um, manually, individually. You can kind of just um, put it on the bus and just um, automate your reverb up or you can do it on the master as well. I tend to do both. On the builds, I've got my drums that I put into battery four. Um, I've got claps, I've got um, the laser one shots that have bounced into audio um, loops. I've got atmosphere loops as well. I've got, again, the samples that are going throughout all the track. <laughs> Here I'm just using all the um, construction kit parts as you can see here, the rising layer drops and main bases. I've got the LFO synth from the synth folder. I've got the bass one shots that are on the off beats and on the on beats as well. And then I've got the um, growls, bases, more growls, more one shots all across here. And these parts I've just kind of um, 
Some of them I've just um, shortened them. So some are like that, some are actually really long and some are just how they are. Yep. And then I've also just added a sub to all of the drops. The reason being I haven't put them into um, audio and loops for the pack is because I wanted to show you guys that if there's any samples ever um, specifically in this pack that you feel are missing a bit of low end, a bit of sub, you can easily add your own sub. All you need to do is just get Serum or whatever VST plugin you want to use and just use a basic sine wave, bit of overdrive, bit of compression, um, slushy fattener as well, and a bit of EQ just to um, gel it together with whatever sound it's corresponding with. And all you got to do is just write the same um, corresponding notes that um, line up with whatever sounds playing at the same time to layer it, right? That's all you need to do. You don't need to worry about the LFO shape or anything like that. So I've kept that out just to show you guys. And uh, hi-hat loops I've just used throughout the entire demo track. Um, I've got on all the drops except the drum and bass drop that um, is just using a drum and bass break. I've got more orchestral elements throughout all the breaks. Again, using the orchestral one shots. I like to use a lot of guitar in my breakdowns, a lot of organic, real sounding guitar. So I've, I thought I'd incorporate that into the drop right here as well to fill things out. So you've got that guitar, the bass guitar that's filling it out and all those bass one shots as well, um, the long basses as well. A lot of these basses have just been built so then they can easily fit into any situation. And you can basically make maybe like 30 different tracks out of just the basses and one shots alone. And I've, I've tested that myself, so it's really easy to do. Made sure they were very, um, very easy and very um, useful in any kind of situation. <laughs> So I've got more of the Foley samples here to give it that um, glitchy sound. All I've done is I've just um, gotten a certain segment, right? And I've just used that right here. Because initially this was a long, it's a long loop of just. So I've just cut it down to the part that I found was most interesting. It sounds like it's a robot is calling or, you know, using a computer or something crazy like that. And um, that was just from a Foley. Like that's just literally me recording some random stuff around my house and then re-warping and re-texturing it into something completely different. So um, a lot of the stuff I use are, are raw for my FX. Here I'm using uh, Kick 2, I believe, and I'm using still the same snare, just got a stronger fade on it. Got the same hi-hats, got uh, just different bass one-shots and loops. And then on to the other break. Everything here is, is really uh, gelled well together because I've got that Endless Smile plugin on my synth bus and on my master. So when I want to make really aggressive kind of transitions like that, um, really obvious transitions as well, is by just automating the um, intensity on this because it adds, adds reverb, it adds delay, it adds, um, I think it adds chorus as well depending on the intensity and depending on the, the type of setting you have. So there's different uh, intensity settings. And then of course I've glued it together and um, adding a glue compressor after that as well. And so for this 4-4 uh, um, kind of like bass house, electro house, res kind of thing that I was inspired by was literally just me automating up Endless Smile and the Bit Crusher. So the Bit Crusher from Logic, you can use any Bit Crusher for this. I'm just literally uh, automating the downsampling. So it starts off really downsampled and then it's it's as we go, it's um, as you can see, it's getting less downsampled until it's back to the original signal. So for this ne next segment, it's the same thing. I'm just automating up the um, Endless Smile plugin. And also 
The only difference is that I have a difference in BPM. So as you can see here, I've actually automated the BPM. So you can see about here for that 4.4 track, it was just 84 BPM for the tracks that were um, 150. And this final uh, drum bass track is 87. So that's, you know, half time uh, 174 BPM, which is, you know, standardized drum and bass. And the only difference in the sounds is the exact same sounds, which are in the construction kits as just long uh, files, I've chopped them up. So then it's a different groove that actually fits 87 BPM. So it's a, uh, more like a uh, drum and bass track. So the thing is, is that um, I'll just show you, I'll mute these so you can hear. So it just has that low bass. Now these these loops in the actual up um, the construction kit segment, you could easily just chop out the um, single notes and then put it into a sampler if you want to and just change the notes that there or you could do it manually depending on what DAW you're using. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that um, these, all the sounds in the tracks and this demo project as well, um, they're very versatile. Like you can use these in any kind of genre, you can use it in any kind of BPM. So just really wanted to showcase that, um, that, you know, Joy Bass isn't stuck to just dubstep. It's, it's all genres, you know, it's just that same robotic kind of sound with the orchestral elements. So just wanted to make that clear for you guys. So as well, the drum and bass drums here, we've got um, just a drum and bass breaks loop that I've made out of putting together a bunch of different uh, drums and like re-texturize them. A lot of hi-hats and stuff like that all playing at the same time. And then we've got this uh, synth hit that gels really nicely with this up, surprisingly. So I'll solo it. So it goes really well together with that. And then we've got, on top of that, we've got that four, four kind of like bass hit. Cause we had it here in the four, four section. So that was the only difference there. Okay, so that is all of that. And then to finish off the track, again, we just had, you know, FX going in and out and we had the uh, vocals. So there you have it guys, that is exactly what's in the pack. All these different sounds and I hope that was really useful for you guys to get inside of what this pack was all about and how you can use it for your own tracks. Cheers.